Now that we've laid the foundation in .NET Nuke modules, it's time to start looking at the specific modules. While it would be practically impossible to cover every detail and every API feature of a .NET Nuke component, we do want to look close enough that you'll know what you're looking at when you're trying to write your code. So open up your Visual Studio and uh, look at the code behind module for the view dmb sample.ascx.cs file. And I've got that open right here. And the first thing you'll notice is there's this namespace that they've put everything in. And what we're, you're going to do is you're going to change your company to the name of your company uh, or maybe the domain name. I normally use uh, DMBC LLC uh, for that namespace. Uh, when you do that, make sure you change that in all the other uh, <coughs> components that we have in the system. I'm not going to do that right now, so this will just compile. The next thing you'll notice is when you come down to the class statement, you'll see that class inherits from portal module base and from iActionable. Now this is a little bit different because um, when you're working with a regular .NET Nuke, or I'm sorry, with a regular ASCX file, instead of inheriting from portal module base, you inherit from system web UI user control. You may be wondering what's going on with this. Well, that's Portal module base is actually another class uh, from the .NET Nuke modules that's been stuck in between the view DMB sample class that we're actually working on here and the system web UI um, web control, user control that uh, is normally inherited from. So we're still inheriting from user control. We're just inserting some additional functionality in here for uh, with the portal module base. And that's what gives us access to things like the portal ID and the module ID and some other uh, module specific uh, features that uh, we can actually access from our own code. So we don't have to write all that code. Uh, .NET's already done all that, or sorry, .NET Nuke has already done all that for us. The other thing is that we've inherited from the iActionable interface. And you may be wondering what that's about. Well, the iActionable, all that really does is it tells the .NET Nuke framework that we're implementing this function down here called, uh, actually this property down here called module actions. And module actions is how we actually get all the menu options uh, in our .NET Nuke. So if we, if we were to run this code, uh, real quick here, and log in. This add content menu option that we see here It's actually placed there by this statement here. That's what puts the menu options. So you can put other menu options that load other modules uh, into your system just by doing another actions.add uh, with the additional information that you need there. That's how that works. The last thing we want to take a look at is up in our page load method. Uh, we commented out most of this work, but what I want to show you is this catch block here. This catch block here has exceptions, process module load exception, and it's this call right here that logs the error into the uh, the system event viewer. Um, and, and this is the .NET Nuke uh, event viewer, not the uh, the app, you know, the Windows application event viewer. Um, and this allows us to see all the errors that happen without actually having to be in front of the screen. So a user calls us up and says, you know, the system just crashed, and you're going, well, what happened? And of course, they don't know what happened. They just know the system crashed. Uh, we can log into .NET Nuke, look at the event viewer, and see exactly what exception they got. Um, and depending on what kind of uh, tracing you're doing, maybe even know what line number uh, was affected. Um, you'll at least know what function they were in. Uh, and the stack trace that caused the error. Uh, huge, huge help. Well, that's how, uh, that's basically the anatomy of uh, a view module, and uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail later on on how to actually add uh, additional menu options using this module action uh, collection here.